Hi everybody, uh, I'm on the floor. Uh, dust everywhere. It's time I had a good clean up in here. It's just got everywhere. But uh, So I'm going to get the vacuum out and vacuum up this dust. But I've got a little dog, Jessie, and she's she sees the world at about this height. Uh, she's a little terrier. And uh, she just recently, we think, we took her to the vet the other day, she wasn't very well. And they think she might have um, cancer, a type of breast cancer that dogs get. So this is a bit upsetting for me, really, because she's a lovely dog and I'm very fond of her. But I'm going to do my best for her. And, um, you know, we're going to take her to the, to the oh, she's having, she's going in next month, early next month for an operation and hopefully she'll pull through. But she's such a character and I thought I would just uh, let you see a little bit of her character and the things I do and can't do here because of her. So anyway I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner going and we'll see what happens. So this is Jessie. Now she looks as fit as a fiddle. And we hope she's gonna stay like that for a lot longer. But, uh, she might have a little bit of an ordeal ahead of her. You like the hoover, don't you Jess? You gonna say hello to my viewers? She's ten and a half years old now. Anyway, I'm sure you all uh, join with me in wishing Jess well at her appointment with the vet next month. Uh, fingers crossed she'll be okay. Uh, update for customers. A couple of knives finished for um, Adam, uh, Bushcraft Bearcat. Been a fantastic customer of mine. Uh, had a number of my knives over the last uh, year or so now. And he's ordered two more, I've just completed those. Thank you very much Adam for the custom. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, just close the window. Uh, right, Lee Rolf. Lee. Yes, your uh, yellow liners, sorry, orange liners uh, have, have arrived along with the Tiger Fred. So that's good. Thanks to Jason from Willow Wood Knives. He sent me a set of scales. These are a stabiliser, he stabilised them himself, and uh, these are for Joachim. Uh, so Joachim having a tapered tang knife, so is Lee. Um, so actually these are the two knives here, well they're going to be the two knives when they're finished. They're just uh, finished heat treatment and the tangs have been tapered on them. So I need to, uh, to build these up. So there's one tapered tang for Joachim and one for Lee. Now on to Adam's knives. Uh, first of all, uh, he wanted a classic with a slight difference. Uh, he wanted uh, a higher grind on it, so I put a 25 degree bevel on this classic. Uh, so that's the reason why the bevel looks a lot higher. Um, normally I do about 28, so this is 25. Slightly thicker palm swell. Stabilised uh, walnut scales with uh, yellow G10 liners straight tang mosaic pins and there's the pommel slightly apexed so there's that nice high grind plunges if the camera will focus on them 
and excuse my hands uh, and the tip so I swept it up a little bit more than I would normally but that actually was to strengthen the tip uh, it slightly what was the angle gives you a much more robust tip so that's that Adam there's the hand rubbing so all in all nice knife uh, right hand sheath with a dangler matching yellow thread and the logo on the back of the dangler as well the next knife was a uh, there's a scout with it in matching uh, stabilized walnut mosaic pins yellow g10 liner again slightly thicker scales than I'd normally put on this is in 3 mil same angle of grind doesn't look to have come at the blade so high that's because it's narrower steel triple tempered 59 HRC that's that knife uh, matching sheath a bit of dust on the sheath with a scalloped edge pattern uh, yellow liners belt dangler logo on that as well so those those are the two knives for you Adam I hope you like those and I'll just say thanks for being such a good customer. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the mess. I need to have a big tidy up. I've had a big, uh, big bash on the knife making this last week, and uh, there's mess everywhere. But I've replaced the table on my uh, metal cutting bandsaw. So this is the metal cutting bandsaw here. So again, there's the metal cutting bandsaw. The table that normally you come as fitted with is uh, is this, which is sort of very thin, flimsy stuff. I mean, look how how it flexes. Not very good at all. So uh, we've replaced this worn-out table uh, with a thick piece of mild steel. And this gives you some idea how thick it is. Uh, it's eight mil, solid, solid as a rock. Yeah, it's actually a, a real joy to use now. Uh, really happy with that and that was uh, thanks to Lee from LB Custom Knives and John Wellings uh, from John Wellings Leather uh, went to see them on uh, one day earlier this week to get some bits and pieces for my knife making I go to Birmingham on a regular basis and pick up bits and pieces and we always meet up anyway I uh, went to a a steel supplier and we bought this plate and uh, Lee and John uh, helped me uh, uh, line it all up, build, uh, put the holes in so it's all, it's all zero tolerance so it had to be quite tight uh, had to be accurately done and uh, fantastic job so thanks to Lee and John for that let's see how well it works
Well, I can tell you, this table has, has improved the operation and usability of this machine by uh, an, an, an enormous amount. Uh, that was uh, a pleasure to use. If the table wasn't moving, uh, I accurately cut out uh, the profile of a, a wisp. Um, <laughs> most definitely uh, a, a, a positive and great upgrade there. So once again, thanks to Lee from LB Custom Knives and John Wellins, uh, for, uh, John Wellins Lever, aka Brimmy John 4002, um, for this marvellous table. Thank you very much, guys. Just a last quick thing. Just the postman just arrived and gave me a package. And I opened it up and it was from Osmo, uh, the top of Carla. Uh, absolutely wonderful Osmo, I can't thank you enough for this because I really am uh, a bit short of handle materials at the moment and he sent me some spalted curly uh, birch and you can see some of the grey, absolutely fantastic, thank you very much I'll be in contact with you uh, about this, I uh, really do appreciate that uh, not forgotten Keith who sent me the uh, Koa wood as well so look at that, that is just wonderful I should be able to get many sets of nice scales from these. They need to be stabilised, but it will make uh, quite beautiful scales. Thank you very much, Osmo. And whilst I'm on the subject of thank yous, thank you also to Brian, Brian Namer, who sent me a lovely package yesterday, some maple syrup, some mugs, and a special little uh, trivet stand for uh, my, 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 my cooker, my stove. So. Uh, Again, uh, much appreciated, Brian. Thank you very much for those. Uh, I'm going to be using the maple syrup on special occasions and make it last. So I think that basically ties it up here. I can't think of anything else for now. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. What is it, Jess?